Hey, welcome to Razor Pop. Hello, hello. I'm Helmi. And I'm Nicola. And today we're talking about Guns N' Roses' newest album. It's called Chinese Democracy and it has it was out on the 23rd of November. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, it took 14 years to make this album. Was it worth the wait, do you guys think? I wasn't a fan for 14 years, but... I guess <laughs> wait, 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 This is Lexi. There this is... Go. I forgot. This is Lexi um, from uh, the Gutter, Gutter Bones. Bones. Yeah. And this is... Um, JJ, JJ, also, JJ, from, Gutter also from Gutter Bones. Yeah. This is... Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Ranham, no, no, who is a DJ from 91.3. And this is Edmund Cho, who is a lifelong JNR fan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Can we get the author cue, please? <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's talk about the album. What's going on with the album? Do you guys like it? You, you've been a, a fan for all these years. How long have you been a fan for? Um, I guess I was into them like the late eighties. So oh, so all the way from the start. So now we know approximately <laughs> how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I kind of like the, the the first first album and the EP, like GNR Lies and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Appetite for Destruction. That, that was like a boom in the late 80s where it just sort of like talks about everything in, 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 the, in the metal world. And I, I was I, I was really into like glam rock and stuff like that. So they yeah, kind of like fitted my view for, for that time. But now, I mean the album is kind of like uh, 14 years in the making. I would say uh, certain songs are like, and certain songs are a bit like not here or there for me. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's pretty spot on there because uh, if you're asking about fans eventually I think there are going to be two sets of fans at the end of the day two sets of fans one fan one one set of fan that's going to like stuff uh, which is from the 80s and GNR would slash in there too as well and now uh, the, the new set of GNR fans with, uh, I think it's a new logo as well um, are going to be you know going to like this sort of music and they are going to follow them through mm-hmm. from here and so I believe there are going to be two sets of GNR fans uh, from, from this day on okay uh, which set are you from? <laughs> well, we're, we're more from like the oh. 80s side, although we're not even that old, but mm-hmm. uh, we like the old school stuff, but... Appetite uh, was the best. Yeah. Yeah, Appetite, Appetite was the best. Appetite was like the favourite era for all of us, mm-hmm. and uh, as much as we like it, I guess... Uh, the new one is kind of okay. Sorry. Sorry. It's, hmm. it's alright, but it's not really my... my not like, kind of. Like the Guns N' Roses I know. Not really the Guns N' Roses I know. Yeah, right. that's how I felt as well. I mean, I've been listening to Guns N' Roses Okay, like a few years ago. And um, what I really like are the 80s things. I think mm-hmm. now it's not exactly Guns N' Roses. It's like the Axl Rose band. Yeah, I think that's what how we, mm-hmm. a lot of people feel. Because, I mean, Guns N' Roses, like when people talk about Guns N' Roses, they talk about Axl slash Duff, mm-hmm. Easy, and uh, <laughs> Steven, <laughs> Steven <laughs> Adler or Matt Sorum. <laughs> <laughs> whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but uh, I guess when... People don't talk about Guns N' Roses now as in always oh, EXO and whoever the new guys are. I mean, people talk about Guns N' Roses as a band that's like been in the 80s and only the members who've like made it for the Appetite era onwards and stuff like mm-hmm. that. It really isn't Guns N' Roses to me in that sense where with all the new members and stuff. Mm. Yeah, we've got some images, uh, GNR history. Can we play that one, please? Cool. Yeah. Uh, that's a really cool picture. <laughs> <laughs> what, do yeah. you, what do you think of Axel Rose's new image? Um, I mean, it's it's very different. He's yeah. better. He's and got he's got cornrows. Cornrows. <laughs> and he's got cornrows and a beard. <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of like Kid Rock now. And he's very flamboyant now, isn't he? <laughs> so it's not like he wasn't before, but it's in a different way, I think. Do you like his new image? Not really. Not really. I mean, he doesn't even look like the Exodus I know. He looks like probably like those kind of guys that like who wants to be Exodus. He looks he looks like a redneck now, and like last time he was like you know this slim. Yeah, he's like really slim and and, and, like really really cool guy. Yeah. Um, Okay, so like, what grade would you give to the album? A, B, A plus, B minus. Should I give you out of 10? Okay. Sure. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> um, probably 7. 7? Yeah. Really? That's that's a good grade. It's and yourself? It's high, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll give like uh, A for effort, but maybe like B or B plus for, this actual, for the actual product. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. I think a, I think an A would be just about right for them. Okay. Yeah, they've got this new logo we talked about, and uh, they're def- definitely going to gather new support, new fans. The okay. base is going to grow. Um, uh, you know, as you just heard from Edwin a while back, and JJ, and, you know, and, and the rest of the guys, uh, that um, that they they really don't tend to like what the new stuff is for now. Not all of it, um, mm. but I think you're going to get a bigger base of GNR fans eventually. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, so I think an A for this album. For you spot on with the effort, they've done pretty well after 14 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they better have. <laughs> okay. Now That's the title track of the album, Chinese Democracy, has mm-hmm. or s- already attracted a lot of controversy. Now, on the surface, it seems to be a criticism of the Chinese government. The lyrics go. Uh, Even with an iron fist, all they got to rule the nation. When all I've got is precious time. Blame it on the Falun Gong, they've seen the end and it can't hold on now. Uh, so, and then there's more. You think you got it all locked up inside and if you beat them enough, they'll die. When your great wall rocks, blame yourself. Now, very, very provocative lyrics. <laughs> and without a doubt, the Chinese government has blocked Guns N' Roses' website from being viewed and it's likely to be banned by the authorities. Um, one Chinese Communist Party newspaper wrote, on the internet, a lot of, uh, uh, well, sorry, the Chinese Communist Party newspaper calls it a venomous attack and a spear point on China. Um, hmm. And on the internet, a lot of Chinese have responded furiously, saying that the ban is just trying to start publicity for itself at the expense of the Chinese people. Uh, Jeremy, what do you think they're trying to do with this album, with a song like Chinese Democracy? You've seen, you've actually seen this uh, day in, day out, because uh, other bands have tried to do it, such things. Mm. They've, had, they've actually uh, used um, uh, the Iraq war, the Kuwaiti oil stuff. They've, they've used different uh, times in, in the present day uh, and to, to push it into the album, either for good or for bad, or event- eventually it's publicity. Mm. Eventually, it's going to be for publicity, be it be it a bad event or a good event, and uh, you you see now what um, the uh, the guys in Africa did, of course, uh, for uh, the Christmas tune. I can't remember what it was. Mm. Uh, <laughs> best of eight, so, uh, of course, mm-hmm. for that. And it turned to be it was for a good thing. I mean, of course, what's happening in China, and uh, to, you know, to what the government is uh, saying no to this. So again, it's all about publicity. And if they get the publicity out of this, be it good or bad, it is still publicity for GNR. Okay, that's true. What do you call it? What do you call it? Cheap shot. Then um, I mean the the Chinese can chi- China has always been an easy target for this sort of thing, right? <laughs> Every week there's a story coming out of China. Yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you, okay, do you like the song? Do you like the title track? It's yeah. probably one of the better songs, right? It's, it's yeah. definitely one of the better songs. Yeah. The what do you yeah. think it's about? Well, yeah. I don't think it's I, really I haven't really heard the lyrics, but the music's pretty good. Mm-hmm, okay. I don't really think that the lyrics are. Actually, I, I thought that it was. I read that it um, EXO wrote the song because uh, they were watching this movie about China, uh-huh. and Dalai Lama or something. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, and that <laughs> something like Dalai Lama escaped the Chinese government, and there were some people who were helping him, and those people got killed. She thinks it's about the Dalai Lama more about more than like. Maybe the it's about the, the Chinese. How the Chinese react. Mm-hmm. Something. Okay. 